All right, so we are finally at Research and Keywords Day, and I want to go over this. Now, I, I want to uh, I, I want to remind you that if you stick with niches and topics that you know very well, um, the need to have to research for niches or keywords go, goes down, right? You don't have to do it as much. So as an example, I am really a big fan of fantasy football. For instance, I geek out about that. I know all the lingo that, you know, guys or, or women talk about that do fantasy football. So for me, I don't have to do as much research to find out keywords for that. Or if you're a guitar player, for instance, um, you would know uh, chords and lingo and things like that a lot better than somebody like me who is only a hobbyist guitar player or some people who've never even played guitar. So just keep that in mind that if you try to design and create your business with, you know, on Etsy with niches and topics that you know, I think that you'll be more successful because you're going to know it a lot better. Now, with that being said, the first place that you can search for ideas is Etsy. So a couple things, you'll notice that as soon as I click the uh, search bar, I already see what's popular right now. Now, don't worry about these numbers, but more on that later on. Uh, you normally will not see these numbers um, in your case. Uh, so don't worry about that. But the popular right now, that means I just clicked it and I didn't press anything else. So this is telling me what is popular on Etsy. All right. So a whole bunch of stuff with Britney Spears lately. Um, Texas Strong. It's very topical about, you know, what's going on right now. Right. So the Daft Punk today, they announced that they broke up after 28 years that that band, that group. So obviously people looking for things uh, about Daft Punk. Rush Limbaugh recently died. So that's kind of one way you can find some different more, I guess, trending type ideas that you can uh, design for. Now, with that being said, if you wanted to search for something you want yourself, then that's when you can niche down a little bit further. So let's just, for instance, um, say we're looking for a funny cat shirt, right? And that's pretty typical. There's a lot out there, but bear with me here. Um, if I do that, I'm going to be able to see some different things. I'm going to see, um, you know, how many results? There's 46,000 um, 46, results out there, right? So that's a lot. So that tells me there's a whole lot of funny cat shirts, right? So what I can do is now I can niche this down a little bit more. And what if I said funny Persian cat shirt? So now we're going to go from 46,000 results to 301 results, uh, much less, right? So it's a specific type of cat, right? So that's why that happened. So you can do your niche research like this. So this tells you that, okay, so obviously if I go more specific, this one doesn't have as much competition, right? But it also means that there's not as, as many people searching for it too. Um, but that's the idea behind long tail keywords. This would be a long tail keyword. This means it's more specific. So in other words, cat sure or cat gift is very basic and broad. And if you make that a lot more uh, specific, then all of a sudden it becomes a lot easier. So in other words, if I looked for a uh, USA shirt, um, that's general. But if I looked for like a 4th of July tie dye USA shirt, that's called a long tail keyword because it's going to be way more specific. Not as many people will be looking for that um, as just a USA shirt or America shirt, for instance. All right. So then you can go through here and you can look at your competition. You can see a little bit about what they're designing and, and all that good stuff. And obviously you can click through to these so you can see how they have their title and their images. So you can kind of see where you're up against. So you can certainly do that. Now, let's say you didn't know enough to niche down to that type of cat, to a Persian cat. Well, you can use this tool. I think many people have heard of Answer the Public. And you can just put in here we'll just stay along with that cat, even though I hate using that as an example because it's so broad, but it, it paints the picture well. So we'll go ahead and put in cat. And what's going to happen is answer the public pulls all kinds of questions directly from Google. So if you look at all this, this can give you plenty of niche ideas. And I can also download this, which is pretty nice. So this is now a premium tool, but you can use it two times a day. Um, so which cat breed should I get? Which cat are you today? That might even be a, um, 
t-shirt idea right there. Um, you know, all kinds of ideas here. Uh, you know, then it starts talking about, you know, catnip or, you know, all kinds of different things that you can look at in here. Um, and then there's also prepositions. So besides words, here are different things that people are searching for. Cat without a tail, cat without hair, cat for sale, cat for adoption. So now you can get a lot of different ideas. And I can search for, okay, cat for adoption. Maybe I'm not going to do a shirt about that, but I can do, you know, maybe things that have to do with adopting cats, you know. Um, so you start taking a look at that and start going down um, that rabbit hole, if you will. So this can just give you a lot of different ideas for uh, either types of shirt you should do or the keywords um, themselves uh, that you can do. And then right here, there's even more uh, that you can get um, with um, uh, keywords. So here's a whole bunch of keywords basically going from A to Z um, that you can do. So basically cat and then F afterwards that people are searching the Google, I, H, etc. So it goes on, on all the way on through. So you can get a lot of ideas here. You can download it and then you can run with it from there. Uh, the other thing that you can do is I've talked about merch momentum and you click on search momentum. You can also type things into here as well. And then you start getting a lot of, uh, you get some different websites. So if I click on keyword visualizer, I can, um, so for cat, same sort of thing. It's, it's going to give me all kinds of other different topics or keywords or whatever, right? So a cat's paw. So now maybe that's an idea that you want to do. Um, a big cat hat, you know, um, you know, all kinds of things. And then you can uh, niche keyword relatives. I think that's the one that I like. Yeah. So this one gives you a whole lot of different other keywords and all that that have to do with cats or whatever. So I would recommend this one here. Both So far, both options I've showed you is, is totally free. Um, another option that I want to show you is Sale Samurai. This is a new program that's come out. I'll spend a little bit of time on here because this is honestly going to be my preferred method. Uh, there's another one, another tool, E-Rank, that many are probably familiar with. And that one is a free version and also a premium version. Um, it's general for Etsy. Uh, Sales Samurai is created by uh, Neil, which is the founder of BookBolt for KDP and the founder of Merch Informer the, for Merch by Amazon. So he's really around this merch and print on demand community. And uh, this is going to continue to develop. And the reason why I'd rather use this tool is because it's a lot more simple than E-Rank. And number two, because he's in the POD community, this is going to continue to evolve, but with POD type, um, you know, uh, features, if you will, right? So uh, first of all, you'll notice when you log in that you have all these tutorials. You also have a Chrome extension that you should definitely add, and I'll show you why afterwards. It's pretty simple. You just click it, and it brings you to the page where you download it, you add it, and it looks like this. You don't have to do anything. It just works in the background. Um, now, with this, it's pretty simple to use. So let's just go with that same idea. Let's just say we want to look for a funny Persian cat shirt. All right, we're going to go ahead and search. It'll take a little bit. But yeah, I like this tool because it gives me everything I need in one place as far as coming up with different ideas as well as um, keywords and whatnot, especially the keywords. Because Etsy, for some reason, does not show us those 13 keywords. Before, they used to be at the bottom of every single listing. It would have all 13 um, keywords there or tags. But now instead, it's only just showing explore related searches, which is, is also a good place to get some different ideas and explore related categories and searches, right? So they, they do that. But before along the bottom, there used to be tags, and it would show all 13. Uh, but it's not showing that. So it obviously, it's still available in their API, because tools are showing it, but it's not showing on on, on, on Etsy. So this here, funny Persian cat shirt. Um, so long tail. And if you don't know what anything means, go to the I right there, the info, and it'll tell you. But it's saying that, yes, this is a long tail keyword. Obviously, it's pretty long. Um, in the top 100 listings, this is how many times the tags uh, showed up uh, right here off to the left where it says tags. So this is where you can also get some ideas um, for tags. And also you can save some of these um, as well. And you can create different categories or just so far, all I have is favorites and you can just put it in there. Um, so this gives you some of that, it gives you a competition score. Again, um, 
124 listings match that exact keyword. Um, and then the suggestions uh, gives you some different other uh, potential uh, keywords that you can use. And then this shows the actual listings that popped up. Now with these listings, if I click any of these, um, it'll bring me to the listing right on Etsy, which is pretty neat. So there's the actual listing. Um, and then if I also want to instead, if I drag this over, I can click on the I and now I get this more detailed view of just that listing. It's telling me um, the category it's in, um, the title words that it used and, and everything, how many images, four out of 10. Um, so it's given me all of that. It's been on Etsy for 47 days. Um, you know, so it gives me a whole lot of information as 27,000 shirts. So certainly it is POD. I doubt they have that many in their basement. Um, so it gives me all this information um, that I can use here. And then also here's the 13 tags that it's using. So if I have a similar shirt that I'm going to use, and this one is popping up well SEO wise, I can use some of these same tags as long as it applies to my uh, shirt um, or product. And then it's telling me, is it multi-word keyword on any of these per? Obviously that one is not. Is it a unique category? Be is it in the beginning of the title? And is it in the description? So this is like a little nice lesson on SEO too, because it's telling you that the best tags are the ones that are multi-word, which we already know that they're long tail. Um, it's unique from the category and it's in the beginning of the title. So in other words, um, for this uh, keyword here that we're uh, using, uh, gift, is that in the beginning? No, it's not. But main coon, is that one in the beginning? Yes. So dark side of the main coon, because you want your first, you want your main keywords to be towards the beginning of the title since it carries the most weight. Um, and then also is it in the description? All right, so it's all there and I can also quickly see any images that they're using all in one easy place um, to do. Now the score keywords, this works if I wanna see how it's doing for Persian cat, just that keyword, how optimized it is, it's a C. So that means, um, and it'll tell me. So the description should be at least 160 characters. All tags are present. So it's giving me all that information uh, based on Persian cat. If I put just cat, I'll change it. I'll be more optimized for that. No, also a C. All right. So um, I have had one come up with an A or a B. So, so it depends. Uh, so now I can get out of this view. If maybe I want to take a close look at a different shirt now. Then I would click the I on there. And it also tells me some other things here also. So the average views is only 85, average likes, average photos, and then also the price spread. It tells me that the minimum amount is 430, $75 is the max, and 26 is the average. And then also it tells me the same thing for the shipping days and shipping costs. So if you're looking, um, this is a really good way to do it. Let's just go broad now instead and see what it shows. You'll see the difference. Um, because this one was long tail and the next one is not going to be. All right, so let's go, let's go. All right, so this cat shirt. So you can see here, um, some of it is going to be a little bit different. The views are still low for what I would think, you know, so take some of the stats with a grain of salt because, you know, Etsy kind of like Amazon doesn't always release exact. These are all just different, you know, averages and things like that. So uh, as far as the views are concerned, but all the other things will be accurate, like the likes and the favorites and photos and keywords, because all that they can see. Uh, you can also connect your shop here so you can keep tabs on your own shop. Oh, here it is. So it will show your shop. Uh, we have Millionaire Corner, the one I'm creating for this challenge there. It shows your um, products. Right now, you only have that one, but it'll be a nice, easy way to see your different products there. Active listings, missing tags, your total views, um, missing images, and the inventory value, which is pretty cool to see as you have more and more listed. Uh, you can also do a competition tracker. You can add shops in here that you want to track. So this shop I added, uh, we came up with in a video recently, 88,000 sales, 309 listings. It was created four years ago. If I click this I, I can get some more information, you know, day by day sales that it's doing. Um, it takes a few days for it to 
calibrate correctly. So I just added this a couple days ago and it doesn't look like it's showing up correctly quite yet, but you should be able to see by the day, um, you know, what, how many uh, sales they're doing and all that. So uh, that's pretty cool. And then this is your favorites area where you can uh, have your different favorites. I don't think I have any listings that are saved, but keywords, I think I saved some. Yeah, there you go. So your keywords are listed over here that you want to maybe save and all that as you go along. And you can even export to a CSV. Uh, so yeah, this is Sales Samurai. It's a really great program. If you use it, if you go to Sales Samurai's website, um, you can use Flav, F-L-A-V, my name, and that will get you a 20% off coupon um, as well. So it is a link through me. And, and you know, if you get it, um, obviously I, I get something for that, but you do as well by getting 20% off. So you'd get 20% off by using um, my code Flav. And also they have an uploader, which I have not tried yet, but when I do, I will certainly do a video on it, but you can upload easily to Printful and, and Printify. So if you haven't adopted um, OrbitKit or anything like that, and maybe you want to use this instead, you can do that. And if you go to the tutorials, uh, there is a video, an uploader video, so you can see there as well. And I'm sure there'll be more stuff out. So you can use this to also upload to Etsy um, pretty uh, easily also. All right. So any questions on this program, let me know. And I'm going to be using it more and more and, and all that. Uh, but I certainly am a really big fan of it. I like the simplicity of it, but yet it still is pretty powerful to give me my keywords right away all in one place where I need it. Uh, so I really do like this program and I like that it's specific to Etsy, um, you know, not merch and everything like that. Um, the other thing that I do uh, that you can do is if you click on calendar, you can also see upcoming different national days, like National Battery Day or Chocolate Mint Day and all that. So that maybe this can help you to design different things, too, in the future. And it shows you for other countries also. So I would um, recommend taking a look at this and also these other ways that I went over. And if you have any questions on research keywords or anything like that, definitely uh, share them in the group and uh, we can uh, talk about it.